Hey guys, welcome to Jazz Tutorials, and I'm going to be showing you a cool icicle type type text effect. Now we've done ice um, effects in the past, I believe we did one last year, but this one's much cooler because not only is it an icicle text effect, but I've also combined it to make it a frozen movie text effect. Now I'm sure most of you know what frozen is, you've seen the movie, right? Olaf and all them people, Princess Elsa. Okay, well, I love the frozen text effect they have on their cover of the movie, so I thought I would take that apart and try and make my own version. And I did just that, but I added a few more things to make it even cooler. So, let's get started. So, first of all, I've opened a photo, um, a photo, I've opened a canvas, wow, and I've chosen a navy blue background. So, choose a navy blue hue you like, I'm choosing this one here, um, and he is fine. And then you're going to have to go into google.com and type in ice um, ice textures and find a few ice textures that you like. I You want two of them. Um, I have one here that I've set to multiply and I'll show you what. That's my ice text effect there. I mean my ice texture there. Wow, I can't speak today. Sorry guys. That's my ice texture there. Um, and you can find these all on google.com. Just find one that you like that's a bright hue like this one here. Um, I'll not, I'm not going to provide, I'm not going to provide this one down below because I figure I want, I want you guys to be creative and make your own version, so, yeah, that's what I'm using there. Um, and when you open your photo, um, or texture rather, you want to hit that one to multiply immediately. And it will blend in with your, um, blue background and look really cool. I like that. Alright, now, I'm going to make a new layer. I already made, well, I already made a new layer rather, but, make a new layer. And then you want to choose a bright hue of choice. Now, I chose a soft round brush of choice, and it's a really bright kind of bluish hue. And make a big dot right in the corner, just to give it some more of, like, you know, lighting effects and whatnot. And then hit that to um, soft light. And I've dropped my opacity down to 20, 75%, just so it's not too bright and not too ridiculous looking. Alright, so now we have our background set up. Let's get to the text part of this whole tutorial. That's kind of what we're really doing. Alright, now I have all of my stuff already made because it is a very lengthy type of video, so I figured I would go ahead and try and make it as quick as possible so you guys can click it, watch it, and do it. So grab your type tool, and we're going to be using Trojan Pro um, Bold. Now I have Trojan Pro and Tro Trojan Pro 3. I don't know what the difference is, but y'all are going to have this in your Photoshop. It comes standard, so you should have it. Um, if you don't have it, then um, I'm not sure what to tell you guys because it's a standard thing, so I would assume you'd have it. But if you don't, um, just go on to dafont.com or some site like that and just type in, like, uh, frozen text, I guess, or Trojan text. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, so you use Trojan Pro Bold, and I have used a 114 point, but that depends on the size of your canvas. If you're working with a larger canvas, you'll want to go larger. Smaller canvas, obviously smaller. So it just depends on what size canvas you're using, what size point you want to use for your text. So, um, yeah. But, like I say, bigger is always better. Heh, <laughs> that's what she said. Just kidding. All right. <laughs> anyway, so type your text, and I'm using um, a I. Let's see what color for text could we use. Well, I okay, this is the effect you're gonna get, but I'll explain how you got how you get to that. So um, this here is the color font I'm using, and I will show you what that is momentarily if I can find my color swatch. And I don't know why I just did that. That was ridiculous. Okay. Hello. Oh, you know why? Because we have a mask layer. That's why I can't show you. Uh -huh. Just kidding. Okay, so this is the color I've chosen here. OC86AE. If you can't see, it's right there at the bottom. All right. Once you have that completed, double-click on your lovely text layer. And you're going to add a bunch of blending modes like I have, or style styles here. We're going to start off with the outer glow. Soft light with an opacity of 100%, um, and you're going to choose white for your color. And then moving down here to your elements, you're going to have 100 pixels for your size, PX rather. And the rest can stay the same. Outer glow settings, we're going to go next. Um, I have my blend mode set to screen with an opacity of 55%. A The standard yellow color they give you is there. 
I'm not going to change that. Um, uh, your choke is 0%, your size is 25, and the rest can stay the same, I guess, yeah. Oh, and on your outer glow settings, if you didn't notice, I have soft light selected, but I'm sure I just said that, but I can't remember. All right, moving downwards. Now to bevel and emboss. A few things here. We have an inner bevel style, chiseling soft for your texture, I mean technique. Um, your depth is 100%, and you're going to have a direction of down with a size of 250 pixels, zero pixels for your soften, 120 degree angle with a used global light checked off with a 10 degree altitude. Okay, your gloss contour is this lovely buddy right here. Um, these come standard in Photoshop, so you should not have a problem finding that. If you is not in there, you may need to load it, but I'm 100% positive it's in your Photoshop. You may have to just load it into your Photoshop. Um, and to do so, in case you're curious, clicking over here, the little icon here, it'll tell you here, load contours. And when you click load contours, you'll want to open up your... Um, your Adobe Photoshop presets um, folder. I'm not sure where that is because for everyone it's different. For me, my preset folder is in my applications, but yours may not be depending upon what you're using, Mac, Windows, or whatnot. So, yeah. All right, moving downward, we have the highlight mode at screen with a white color, opacity of 75%, shadow mode soft light with a black color, and a 45% opacity. All right, click OK, and once I make these visible, you will see this. Cool! Look at that, guys. Awesome. Now, you'll notice how mine's a bit wiggled, and I'll explain that in momentarily. So, once you have your text already made and really awesome, you're going to then go up here, and you're going to hold down your Command or Control key and click on the thumbnail. You want to make a lovely uh, marquee selection around your text, okay? Once you do that, you then want to click the Mask Layer button, which would then mask out the entire text, but leaving it there. Reason being is we're going to be adding a um, wiggly, like, a more of a frozen movie type of um, curve to our text. Now, the next part of this is a little bit difficult because you have to play around with your settings. I had to play around with it to see what looks really well, what worked really well for me. I think it's the larger the text or the smaller the text, the you know, the changing you have to make. So go ahead and do that. And then with your mask layer selected, the mask section selected, go up here to filter. Under distort, you're going to select wave. And the wave you're going to have for your number of generators is going to be 22. And your wavelength is going to be a bit different than mine, I think. I'm not really 100% positive because I had to play around and see it worked best. So you want to have a type of tri a type is triangle. Repeat edge pixels should automatically be selected, but if not, select it. And my minimum is 10. And the max, that's what's going to be different for all of, all of you guys because you're not going to, it's going to give you a different outcome no matter how, if you go bigger or smaller. So whatever you think looks good for you, then go for it. That's where you're going to want to play around. Your amplitude should be 1 for the minimum and 2 for the max. That's a standard thing there. And your scale shouldn't have to change. That's always going to be at 100% either way. It's just that your minim your max will be different than mine, probably, depending upon the size of your text. Okay? So play around and see what looks good to you. And I did that, and this is what I've got here. A lovely, wavy type of text. Okay? That's the frozen part. Now let's add the second texture. Remember when I said we need to have two textures? Well, this is when the second texture is going to come in very handy. So open your second texture. And with it opened, you're going to then hold down your Alt key and make it a clipping mask to that entire text layer. So when I did so, I got that lovely cool effect right there. And I also changed my blend mode to hard light to really give it that cool frozen-like effect. Now that's the frozen text effect right there. But to go a step further, I then added some cool icicles to my text. Now, if you're really cra crafty and very creative in Photoshop, I'm sure you can draw your own icicles. Me, I'm not that really creative as one would think. So I could not draw my own icicles. So I cheated and went the easy way out and just downloaded some cool brushes from a random site. 
I will provide these brushes in the link below to download because you might want to use these. But hey, if you're very creative and have your own ways of drawing them, go for it. I'm all for it. I'm all for creativity here. Um, so I will show you my layer. So I have a layer of icicles, as you'll see here. And I blended them in just along the bottom of my letters so it looks like there's icicles falling off of the text. Pretty nifty and pretty ingenious, right? I thought so. Um, so yeah, I chose a kind of a light blue color for my um, icicles, if you didn't already notice. And because I want to really make it stand out and blend in with the whole text colors and whatnot, I duplicated that entire uh, brush layer. And I then went and selected Overlay for my colored blend mode. And then I went up here to Image and Adjustments. And I adjusted the brightness and contrast of the top copy layer. And that gave me this lovely effect you see here. And that is basically it. That is exactly the text effect I was going for and what I wanted to show you. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, hit the like button. If you thought it was really ridiculous, I'm very sorry. Uh, which I'm sure you wouldn't think that. But some people might. You never know. I don't read minds. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, if you like what you see and want to see a bunch more stuff that's pretty awesome like this or creativity like this, hit my subscribe button. I do try and post two videos a week. Sometimes it's only once. I'm very sorry, but, you know, not every, I'm not really always, like, able to do certain things. I do have a second job aside, besides this, so, yeah, that sometimes gets in the way. I try not to let it get in the way, but it does once in a while. So, yeah, okay, um, I'll shut up now. Leave you guys alone. Happy holidays. Christmas is right around the corner, so, um, if you guys want to see more holiday-like tutorials, um, I'm all for that. If you don't and you want to see regular cool stuff, that's cool too. Um, I'll be doing, I'll try and do a mixture so that way y'all aren't like bored crapless with holiday crap because, you know, there are those people out there that don't celebrate Christmas and I'm going to try and cater to you, I swear. But yeah, thank you very much for watching and comment, like, and subscribe. I love you all and I'll see you later. Bye!